Okay, so this is always what it looks like where G is the new one and you started with F and you did stuff to F to get there. Okay, when you do this, you have to think in an order. So order in math, the multiplying, dividing stuff comes before the add, subtract stuff. So first thing we're going to look for is any compressions, any stretches, any reflections. Because those are all multiplying and dividing things, right? Then we're going to look for shifts. Do you know what shifts are if I say shifts? Shifts could move left, right, up, or down. Those are the shifts that are happening. Okay, so can you tell me, do you see any compressions, reflections, or stretches when you look from here to here? What's your instinct saying? Name me one that might have happened to look from here to here. Reflection. Reflection. Okay, so I'm going to reflect this. So this point would stay, and when you say reflection, we're going to flip it over the y-axis. So 4, 0 would technically go to where now if I reflected it? It would go over here to 4, 0. And where would negative 7, 5 flip over the axis to? 7, 5. Okay, so I reflected them. Which letter would I have to change down here if I did that reflection? I'll give you two choices. Do you want the A or the B to be a negative? What happened there? Which change was that? What changed? The X's or the Y's? The X's. So that means we're going to make sure that's negative. Okay, now don't look at this anymore. Look at this. Okay, so look at my yellow one and look at this. Did I do any compressions or stretches? Stretch. Okay, what are you noticing about stretching? Let's look at the space. Let's, K, let's take this point and this point. How much vertical space is between them? Three. Okay, now look at that point and that point. How much vertical space is between them now? Six. So vertical space was three and now it's six. So what happened to my graph? I did a vertical stretch by two. Okay, so that means I'm going to have an A of two. Okay, we're going to do that now. You ready? If I vertically stretch this yellow graph by two, zero, three would move to zero, six. Where would four comma zero go? If I, it wouldn't. Because if I doubled zero, what happens to it? Doesn't move. And seven comma five would go to? Seven ten. You're doubling the vertical. Double the vertical. We, right? So now we got to this position. Okay, so now we're at 
up to the pink. What's going to happen from the pink to this one? You're going to have to take each point up to. So up to would change my D. Okay, and then that would be it, right? We would have landed. So G of X equals 2F negative X plus 2. Okay, one more on the other side here. Okay, working backwards. Okay, ready? This is the end graph. What did I start with? So I started with something. I started with f of x. What did I do to f of x? I would have reflected over the, which axis? What's the negative in the front going to do? Which axis does that flip it over? over the x-axis, and what else did you do? You did a vertical stretch by two. And then you got to the g. How do we go backwards and undo that? Okay, how do you undo a vertical stretch? Compress it by two. Okay, so look at this point right here. What's the height? 10. What's the new height, the original height gonna be? Five. We're undoing the stretch. So if this height was 10, then it would have been at a five. If this height was two, what did it start with? One. Okay, does that make sense? Every point's heights got doubled, right? Do you see it? Five got doubled to 10, one got doubled to two, five got doubled to 10. And, how do I undo the reflection over the x-axis? I need to reflect it over an x-axis. So this was where we started from. Does it make sense? Look at your start. If you take this F, reflect it and stretch it, would it end up like the G? In the workbook? In the workbook, page 11. Okay, so this says the point negative 3 comma 4 is on the graph of this. So it's on the transformed graph. So we start, we transform, and then that's how we end, right? We start with something, we transform it, and then we end. So negative 3 comma 4 is on the transformed graph. So what is this question saying? It's saying state the coordinate on the start, on the original. That's what we're going to do. Does that make sense with the words in that question? I feel like this, when people read it, they don't understand that this point is at the end and we're working back. Okay, 
Um, could you write me the math coordinate that happened? Can you write me the math coordinate that happened? X would have got divided by 3, right? And Y would have got times by a half. So can you work backwards? What did you start with? And then you divided by 3 and you got that. Or work backwards so you would times by 3. And you get a negative 9. How do you undo the compression? You stretch it. What did you times by a half? And you ended up at 4, so what did you times by a half? 8. Okay, does that make sense what I'm doing? This is now my ending, and I have to figure out how I start it. So it's just backwards of what we did yesterday. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did in our notes here. We're going to get the equation for g of x as a transformation of the f of x. So if you want, we start at f and we get to the g. We start at f and we get to the g. So I'm going to think about the order. So you have to ask yourself, ready? From f to g, do you see anything that would be a reflection, a compression, or a stretch? Anything. What do you think? Do you visually see anything that happened reflecting, stretching, or compressing F? What's that? It did not get compressed. What, what would have happened to F to get to G? It stretched. What kind of stretch? A horizontal or vertical? Okay, so you see a vertical stretch. So let's talk about the height of this point and the height of that point. What happened to it, the height? It doubled. Okay, so can you double all the heights? So zero would stay, zero would stay. This height of two would move up to the height of four. So that's what it would look like if I vertically stretched it by two. Now, look at my yellow graph. What are you going to do to go from my yellow to the end? How can you get from the yellow graph to this G graph? What would you want to do? There's two different ways we can do it. Reflect, reflect over how, what, over the y-axis. So if we take the yellow graph and reflect it over the y-axis, it would look exactly like that because this is a 2 and a 4. Now this is a negative 2, negative, right? Okay. So that's it. So how do we put it into the equation? Where are you going to put that we vertically stretched it by 2? You're going to put that here, an A, a vertical stretch. And where are you going to show me that you reflect it over the y-axis? That would be a B. And there's your answer. Okay, 
Can anybody tell me a second equation that would have worked? So the vertical stretch had to happen. What else could I have done to go from the yellow to the end? Just shifting left six. So this would have been an answer acceptable as well. They both would have done, got me there. Okay, should we do one more and then I'm gonna let you go? Okay, determine the equation for G as a transformation of the F. So we have to transform the F to get to the G. So start with F and end with a G. That's what this is doing. You have to start at F and get to G. Okay, first question. From F to G, do you see me doing any comp um, stretches, compressions, or reflections? What are we thinking? F to G. Have I done any reflections? No, there's no reflections. Have I stretched or compressed it, either vertically or horizontally? Yes, what? I'm gonna have to horizontally compress it. Okay, which two points do you wanna look at the spacing between to compare? How about you look at that point and that point? How much spacing is between those points right now? Did you write that there's six apart? Okay. How much spacing are they now in this one? How much horizontal space is between them now? Three. So what happened? Horizontal compression by two. Which letter is that going to change over here? Horizontal compression by two. That'll be a B, right? Okay, so I'm going to physically draw this now. Okay, so this point will move from a negative two away from the axis to now a negative one. This point is on the axis, so it'll stay on the axis. This point was four away from the axis, so now it should be two away. Um, I'm going to take a point right here, which is six, two. So six comma two will now move to three comma two. Okay, so there's my yellow graph. You told me to horizontally compress it, and I did that. That's yellow. Now, what do I have to do yet to move from my yellow to the end? I need to move it up. How many? One, two, three. So then I have to move it up three, which would change the letter D. So g of x equals f of 2x plus 3. Okay, you have to do it step by step saying, did I stretch, compress, reflect? Once you're done that whole list, then look at the shifts, okay?